I'm going to talk about bleeding, which is classified as internal or external. Severe bleeding is called hemorrhaging. The body's natural response to bleeding is vasoconstriction and clotting. Vasoconstriction means the blood vessels constrict, they narrow. For example, if this is the normal size of a blood vessel and bleeding occurs, it's going to constrict, narrow, so less blood is able to get through. The severity of bleeding is evaluated by the speed the blood is lost and the amount of blood loss. So the more and the faster it is lost, the more severe. Atrial bleeding is bleeding from an artery. It is characterized by bright red blood because it's oxygen rich. Recall that most arteries carry away oxygen rich blood. It has a rapid profuse rate that spurts with each heartbeat. For example, if you have an artery bleeding in your leg, it's going to be fast and it's going to spurt. As the patient's systolic blood pressure drops, the strength of the spurts decreases. This is because systolic blood pressure is the pressure created when blood is forced into arteries. Venuous bleeding is bleeding from a vein, and it's characterized by dark red to maroon blood. This is because it's oxygen poor, contains waste. Recall that most veins return oxygen poor blood to the heart. It has a slow, steady rate. This is because veins return blood under low pressure. Now, this could be a problem, however. For example, if you have a large neck vein bleeding, since the venous pressure may be lower than the atmosphere pressure, the pressure out here, debris and air could be sucked in to the vein. And this can lead to an embolism that can go to the heart, lungs, or brain. This is a particular problem with large neck veins bleeding. Capillary bleeding is bleeding from capillaries. And it's a sort of in between bright to dark red and has a slow oozing rate. It's because capillaries are small. So for example, if you have a scrape on your hand, you have just tiny little pinpoint oozes of bleeding. Capillary bleeds often clot spontaneously. Epistaxis is a nosebleed. Gastrointestinal bleed, a GI bleed, uh, may, ha may show signs of this as tender, rigid, or distended abdomen. The patient may have dark coffee ground like or red bloody vomit and dark tarry or bright red stool. And a gastrointestinal bleed is an internal bleed. Additionally, you may see bleeding from body orifices, for example, from the ears. And that ends this video on bleeding.